Hello and welcome to another episode of the Foot Geeks. My name is CJ and today I will be talking about blisters. Now what's the number one cause for blisters? In my opinion, it's really an ill-fitting shoe. So what you really would like to do before, I mean, when you set out to purchase a shoe is making sure that the shoe fits properly. Now what are the primary causes I believe for blisters is the fact that usually the shoe is either too tight or it's too short, which causes the foot to be pushed into the back of the shoe, which means as you're walking, and the um, heel is rising up, it causes friction on the back of the heel, which is then causing blisters. Now, uh, one of the things you can do for blisters, if it continues to happen, if you haven't you know, found the right fitting shoe, one of the ways you can check it is take the insole out of the shoe, making sure that you have about a finger width at the end of the longest toe, and that your toes you know, in, 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 in the side, obviously the fifth toe and the big toe, aren't overlapping over the sole because that usually means that the shoe may be a little bit too tight. Now there are a few things you can look at uh, to help prevent blisters is the right socks. The right sock is a double layer sock and uh, what it does, it really is designed to help reduce friction on the foot. There's the two layers that are basically rubbing against each other to prevent friction on the uh, foot itself and that can really help to reduce blistering when you're um, out and about exercising. Now if you get a lot of blisters in between your toes, if you're running and you sweat a lot, uh, then the, one of the options there would be to use a toe separator comb like this one right here which helps to reduce friction in between your toes or potentially a toe sock. Now the toe sock again has the same effect as do the uh, right socks in between your toes because now you've got two layers that are going to be moving against each other to prevent friction in between your toes which helps to reduce blistering in between toes. Now if you get a lot of blistering on the bottom of the foot, in some cases it may be the, the lining materials of the uh, footwear. Uh, now obviously leather lining I find is usually the smoothest, it glides better with your sock, therefore there's less friction. And if you have a shoe, like a running shoe, which has a very rough inside, uh, sometimes what you want to do is add a leather insole to help prevent friction on the foot. Now if you have any other suggestions for blister reduction, please post them below and uh, subscribe to us on YouTube as we'll have more content coming. So uh, have an excellent day.